Hey everybody, it's Jamie from Plum Island Sea Cabin. It is early Sunday morning. I am filming the intro to today's shell adventure on my porch because it's going to be super hot out today. It's going to be in the mid 90s. So it's going to be a super hot day on the beach for shelling. But before we jump into today's shell adventure, I have a few announcements to make. So let's get started. Okay, so these announcements are gonna take less than two minutes. So announcement number one is that the refuge has opened part of the beaches. So gates number one, number two, and number seven are now open. So later today, I'm heading over to pick up Kim and we're gonna be shelling the Emerson rocks. So stay tuned for that. So announcement number two is that we had a ton of shell shares this week. So every day I came home from work and I feel like there was a box of shells on my porch. So thank you so much for sending in shells to share with everybody on this channel. So I think everybody's really enjoying that, seeing shells from all over the world and all over the map. So continue to send those shells in and I'll continue to share them with everyone on this channel. And thank you so much for taking the time to collect them, box them, and send them in. So last but not least, this is probably my most exciting thing I get to share with you. So we received an email from a Plum Island Sea Cabin subscriber that was born here in Massachusetts, but now lives all the way in California. He has shelled all over California from Laguna Beach all the way to Morrow Bay. He is an avid shell collector because he's been shelling almost his entire life. So I'm gonna put a picture of him up on the screen right now. His name is Ronan. And Ronan, thank you so much for sharing your shell collection with us. We are super excited to see all of your pictures. When you make a trip back to Massachusetts, definitely hit me up. I would love to shell with you and hit the beach together. So be sure to stay tuned for next week for more shell shares. And I'm gonna run and pick up Kim now and we're gonna hit the beach. So we're kind of bummed out because we thought by opening lot seven that the Emerson rocks would be open, but it looks like it's still roped up. You can see those sticks in the sand there and the plover warden up there in the chair. But these rocks are still off limits and they're probably loaded with beach treasure and loot. So. Unfortunately, we can't go in there today, but we can still go into the water, see if we can find some sand dollars, and maybe take a walk over to the Barhead Rocks and see what's over there. So, let's go shelling. We are heading down to the water, see if we can maybe score some sand dollars. really cute blue surf clam here. It was a really nice find just walking through the shallows here looking for some sand dollars but came across this nice blue surf clam. Really great coloring. So that is a great first find of today. Ooh -ee, look at this sand dollar. Look at how perfect that is. See if it's whole. And it is. That is a gorgeous sand dollar. Rinse this off in the water to get a better look. It is really beautiful. I don't know if you saw my last video, but there is a guy towards the end of it. His name is Kevin. People are referring to him as Sand Dollar Kevin because he had buckets and buckets full of sand dollars. So if you haven't had a chance to watch my last video, go back and check that out. These are great finds. Really cute little baby sand dollars. Did you find those by the rocks over there? Yeah, yeah that's cool. Look at all these, that's crazy. That's awesome, that's what we're looking for today. Sand dollars, mega, mega sand dollars. There's so many and I love all the different colors they come in. 
So those are great finds. Thanks for sharing with me, you guys. More cute little minis here. Oops, missed one. These are very cute little small moons and very tiny Atlantic surf clams. So we're finding a ton of stuff just hanging out in the shallows here. We'll give you a better look at these. And how is that for a better look? So we got the little baby moon there and some really, really cute baby Atlantic surf clams. some nice blue coloring on it. Atlantic surf clam. Very cute little dog whelk. No one's home. That would make a good collection ad. The live moon, very pretty shell, a little bit of algae on it with that operculum swinging up and around and closing it inside. But it's just hanging out in the shallows here, probably feeding and seeing what it can find in the sand. So we will leave it here. Oops. Put it down in the sand a little bit so that the waves do not sweep it away. But thanks for the visit, little one. little bit of a rescue mission here. There's a little eel that I am going to put back out in the water. here and out to the ocean you go. And there he goes. Look at how crazy these dog whelk and periwinkle colonies are attached under these rocks. It's really interesting how they work their way into all the nooks and crannies. All this barnacle, super sharp. So if you're ever visiting this area, don't go running your hands across that. That will definitely cut you up. Oh, this is a total score for me this time of year. I love this. Check out this barnacle crusted blue mussel. That is a really beautiful, beautiful find. It does look like there are some live barnacle on them. So you can see the ones that have nothing in them. 
So those are expired. The ones that are inhabited inside of those circles, they are live and they are closed up because barnacles will close up and hold the moisture and water in until the next tide comes in and picks them up. So we're gonna put this one back in the water, but what a beautiful, beautiful shell. So we're gonna bring this back to the water and leave it here at the beach. Drop it right there. And there you go. Great find though. One of the things that's tough at the beach when the fishing season starts is sometimes hooks and lines get left behind on the beach. So here's a good example. You don't want to get something like this in your foot. So we're definitely going to take this with us and dispose of it. And hopefully later when I'm cleaning up my bag, I remember that this is here and I don't end up hooking myself because that would be an unfortunate event. But I think we'll be okay. I'll put it in a section that I don't normally go in and I'll make myself a note to clean out my bag. Ooh, nice little baby blue moon over here. Right next to a, put my camera down, put my bag down. Cute little baby in the moon next to an almost whole stem Sony. So this is the blue baby moon I was talking about. And then when I looked down here, there was also a nice stem Sony. Apex is busted and there is a hole on one of the worlds, but still, Pretty cool finds. We'll be taking that little baby blue moon home for our collection. See if there's anything else down in these rocks. That is interesting. Cute little moon here. It does have a little bit of a break on it. Really cute dog logs down here. Oops, they both have little hermits in them. They have beautiful homes, little hermits. So we'll put these back, see what else we have here. More little moons. This one's got some really great color in it. that seaweed and those periwinkles little dog whelk mixed in there with the bunch looks like there's a little bit of a storm heading in just lightning over there a couple of seconds ago probably a good idea to get out of the water So we are on the upper part of the, the beach towards the dunes and there's some really cool weathered trees that washed up. Pretty large ones. Make really great pieces of beech wood to display shells around. Cute little pieces of leftover bark still hanging on. Every time I see this, it kind of reminds me of like those old Western movies where there's an old cattle skull sticking out of the sands in the desert. So make a really beautiful painting. 
get some close-up shots for you so you can see the detail. You can see the root. Really beautiful. When I stumble on things like that, I just like to share them with you because it's not something you see every day, especially when you're you're landlocked or don't have the chance to get out to the beach. So we had a banner day at the beach today, despite the wind. So many moons. Thank you so much for adventuring with me and I'll see you next time we hit the beach. Bye.